This is week two, workout one, let's get to work. Right, so if you just start off with a warm up, on the spot, if you start off with a gentle march, I'm just gonna bring this up to a bit of a jog. So just where you are, start off with a march, nice and easy, good stuff. And then when you start to feel a little bit warmer, we're gonna increase the range. So all we're looking for is a bit of a jog on the spot, not too high, just a couple of inches. So just on the spot, come up to the balls of your feet. Good. And as you feel warmer, all we're gonna do is increase the range. So we go a little bit higher. So inch by inch, minute by minute, we're gonna go a little bit more. Good work. Good stuff. So the goal of this is by the end of the warm up, you guys are slightly breathless. You'll still be able to talk for now, um, but you just wanna be nice and warm and the heart and lungs are working a little bit better. Good stuff. Just ease that down and then start to bring them up behind you. Good work. Good, so try and stay light on your feet when you do this as well, guys. Good job. Good, another 10 seconds there. Good work, guys. Ease that down. Just take your feet slightly outside of hip width apart and we're gonna start with some shallow squats. So just keep your hands up in front of you and then just sit back onto your heels, just nice and easy. Give us 10 squats there. So not too deep yet, guys. We're gradually gonna increase the range. Good stuff. So I shouldn't be testing you, it's just to loosen up. Well done. Good stuff. And on that last one, I just want you guys to hold, just come down, and then from there we're gonna inchworm forward. So just take your hands forwards, bring yourself forward into a plank, keep your core tight, good job, and then bring yourself back again. So you're just gonna do five of these, same thing again. In your own time, guys, just walk forwards. Again, doesn't have to be deep, we're just gradually looking to increase our range of motion with these. Good stuff, three more. So I should feel the heart rate coming up a little bit more. Good work, two more. Nice job, so try and suck your belly button in as well. Keep your core tight for this. Good work, bring it back. Excellent, and from there, jogging on the spot again. Let's go a little bit higher now. Should be nice and warm. Is that knee starting to come up in front? Good work. Awesome. Good job, take it back down again and then heels to your butt all the way this time. Should be nice and warm. Legs pretty much ready to go. Heart and lungs working a little bit harder as well. Good stuff from there. Take it down, bouncing from side to side. So feet about hip width apart. Just a bounce. Whatever you want to do with the arms, just keep them nice and loose. Good stuff, another 10 seconds here. Good work. And then from there, just ease it down, come back onto the spot, shake it off. Should be ready to go with our first exercise. So it's gonna be a 30 second interval. We're gonna be running on the spot, but we're gonna put a punch in there while you're running. So the best way to do this is gonna be just to run on the spot and then we'll add the punch once you guys feel ready. Everybody good? Right, so we're looking for 30 seconds and we're gonna increase the range and increase the intensity. So as soon as you're ready, three, two, one, let's go. So on the spot, as soon as you feel ready, start to put the arms in. And the goal of this, we want to be breathless by the end of it. Good work. Nicely done. Guys, well done. So to make it higher, higher with the knees. Keep it going, halfway. Guys, good job. So you can take a marching option with this if it's too much for you. This should be any option you want to go with and feel comfortable with. Good work, five seconds. Keep it going. Two, one, and relax. Take 30 seconds off. So our next exercise, we're looking at jumping side squats or stepping side squats. So our first option is to step. You're gonna step across, in line, and then come down. Here, here, and then down. If you guys are happy with that, we can go for the jumping option. Another 15 seconds, take your time. Heart rate should be up and ready to go. Exactly it. So key things, chest stays up and the weight stays in your heels. Keep your feet outside of hip width apart. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. So start off with a step, good. So you wanna keep the weight in the heels, keep your chest high as well while you do it. And as you feel warmer with this, you can start to take a jumping option, guys. It is completely up to you. Your workout, your choice. 15 seconds, nice. Good work, five seconds left. So you can go as high or as low as you want with these. And time, relax, good stuff. So we'll just take 30 seconds to recover there. Next exercise is gonna be alternate leg bridges. So this is gonna be on your back. Um, if you wanna take a seat now, get into position. Feet about hip width apart. And then you're gonna take your hands so the knuckles are to the floor and you're just using them for stability. And then from there, you're just gonna drive up through your heels, lift your hips. Good. And we're gonna take one leg out. 
and then drop down, hover an inch above the floor, come back up, and then switch legs over. Good stuff. So down, up, switch. Nicely done, guys, well done. So this is gonna challenge, in terms of your balance, it's gonna challenge your core strength as well. Nicely done, guys, keep going. The other thing to remember, if this gets too much, you can drop back to the option we did last week for two legs. Guys, well done, less than 10 seconds to go. Keep it going, keep the core tight, keep pulling your belly button in. Three, two, one, and relax. Good stuff. So from there, just take a sec. Next exercise is gonna be crawls. So you're fine to stay on the deck. And this one, you're just gonna come into a push-up position. Take your time. And all it's gonna be is come down onto one elbow, then the other elbow, then back up, and back up. Exactly it. So you've got another 10 seconds to recover. Don't go too early. <laughs> And you can go with knees or you can go with toes for this, guys. Completely up to you. Ready? Let's go. 30 seconds. Very nice. Good job. So this is going to challenge you because it's one arm at a time. You can go as fast or as slow as you want with this. But always remember you can cut back to your knees at any time you need to. Good work, guys. Halfway through. Excellent. So the main thing, keep your core tight as well. Keep pulling your belly button in. Try and breathe out as you push back up to the top of the movement. Five seconds. Good stuff. And time, relax. 30 seconds off. We're gonna stay where we are. We've got single leg extensions next. Good job with them. So these ones, literally flat on your back. Pulling your core in tight. Your legs up to 90 degrees. That's it, good work. So a good way to gauge this, if you put your arms straight, your knees should be a straight distance away from your body. And then from there, all you're gonna do is keep your back flat to the floor and extend one leg. So three, two, one, let's go. Extend one leg, good work. Pull it back and switch the other side. Nice job. Now, you don't have to go too low with this. Ideally, if you can get six inches above the floor, that's absolutely perfect. But the lower you go, the harder it becomes. So stay high if you want to. The main thing is your lower back isn't gonna lift off the floor. You need to keep it locked in and tight. Good work, guys. Keep it going. Five seconds left. And time, good stuff. Right, guys, next exercise is gonna be stepping planks. So you're gonna be on your front. Think of a plank hold that we've done previously. And then from there, we're just gonna challenge your core and your stability. You're gonna go from a plank position, you're gonna take one leg out and back, then the other leg out and back only to about 12 inches. You can go that far if you want to, but it's gonna make it a lot harder. So up to you guys. Good work, when you're ready, assume the position, and let's get to it. So out, just a tap, so there's no transfer of body weight. Your abs are in tight as well. Now this will challenge your core, so a better way to do it would be to do a plank hold if you find you're starting to suffer with this. We want it to be manageable, but we still want it to be a challenge. Guys, good work. Excellent, halfway through. So I should be starting to feel this. Should be feeling it in the stomach though. If you feel it in your back, it's because your core's failing and your back is starting to arch. Don't let that happen. Good work, five seconds. And time, relax. Excellent. Now 30 seconds off, we're gonna stay where we are as well. We've just got crunches to finish the first circuit. So these are our typical crunches. You're gonna be flat on your back. Feet stay flat on the floor as well, about hip width apart. Keep them flat and then from there, all you're doing is your fingertips by the side of your head and we're just coming up halfway. So your lower back is gonna stay against the floor the whole way through. Exactly it, good job. Right, when you're ready, 30 seconds, let's go. So just come up and back, good work. So try and breathe out as you come up as well. So it's only half the movement. That way it engages your core more than your back and your hip flexors. Guys, good work. Excellent. Halfway through, another 15 seconds. Keep the movements going. Nice and smooth. Good stuff, guys. So if you wanna make this harder, the way to do it is to keep the fingertips there and take the elbows further out. This will add more weight to the movement and make it harder for you. Three, two, one, and relax. Good stuff. Right, 30 seconds off. That's the first circuit complete. We're gonna do this once more through. So a few deep breaths. Always got time for water if you need to as well. Another 15 seconds, and then we're going back to running this on the spot with the punches in there. So we'll go straight to it with a higher, op higher option because you guys are already warm. Five seconds. Three, two, 
one, and let's go. So running, try and get the knees up a little bit higher this time, and think of the intensity. We're just lifting it that little bit more from the last time. Good work, nicely done. Guys, well done. So to make it higher, higher with the knees. Keep it going, you're halfway through. Should be breathing heavily now. The intensity is really stepping up, good work. 10 seconds left. Guys, well done. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Good job. Take a second. Right, stepping side squats or jumping side squats. Completely up to you guys which ones you want to do. Everybody happy with them, remember? Step to the side, weight in the heels, and sit back down again. Another 15 seconds off, loads of time. Take your time, another 10 seconds. Just walk it out, try not to taste day two still. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and let's go. So step to the side, good. Bounce up, nicely done guys. So loads of options. So you don't necessarily have to go with the highest option with this. The whole thing is about maintaining the momentum, keeping the intensity going with it. You can always step up for the last 15 seconds of it if you want to, or if it's too much, cut back. Do what you need to do, but keep the workout going. Good work, guys, 10 seconds. So if you wanna go higher, do it now. Awesome, five seconds. Three, two, one, and relax. Good stuff. Take a sec, shake it off. A few deep breaths and then we're going to alternate leg bridges again. So again, you're gonna be taking a seat for this bit. Make yourselves comfortable. Again, another 10 seconds. So it's the same thing again, hip width with the feet. Hands down, normally knuckles to the floor just so you don't try and grip it. Three seconds, let's lift the hips. Take one leg up, 30 seconds, let's do it. Good stuff. And then switch. So it should be more of a challenge this time through. If you feel your core starting to fail, just go back to double leg bridges. You'll work out your choice, but do try and challenge yourselves with this. Guys, good job. Halfway through. You should feel this in your glutes, your hamstrings, your lower back as well all through the core. Good work, five seconds left. Keep it up. Time, relax. From there, just roll yourself five eights, elbow crawls next. So again, loads of options for this, guys. You did a really hard one last time, so you can stay on your toes if you want to. If not, come back to your knees. Completely up to you. Nobody's watching. No pressure. Five seconds. So from there, push up position. As soon as you're ready, 30 seconds, let's go. Elbow, elbow, hand, hand. Good job. Guys, nicely done. So keep a strong core with this as well. Or you'll also find if your feet are together, it makes it harder on the core because your stability is gonna be compromised. So it is easier to put the feet about hip width apart. Then you'll have more to work from and you're not gonna be as challenged in terms of balance. Guys, well done. Good work, keep it up. Three, two, one, and relax. Nicely done, guys. Okay, another 30 seconds off. We're moving on to core again, so single leg extensions. So from there, take a minute. Or another 15 seconds. Good stuff. Okay, 10 seconds. So remember what you're doing with this. Lock in your core, keep your lower back pushed against the floor at all times. If you feel it start to lift, reduce your range of movement with it. So legs up when you're ready. 30 seconds, let's go. So breathe out, good stuff. Now, if you find this get easy, it's normally because you're starting to bring your trail leg closer to your body when you're doing it. If you wanna make this harder, you can straighten your arms to keep your knees at 90 degrees and away from your body and then alternate and it will stop you from cheating and bringing your leg a little bit nearer to you. Loads of options to go with. Guys, well done. Five seconds left. Good work, get that back locked in. Time and relax. Okay, two exercises left. We've got stepping planks next. So take your time. Another 15 seconds or so first. And again, exactly the same thing. A plank hold, and then we're just gonna take the legs out to the side, about 12 inches at a time. Right, when you're ready, bring yourself up into a plank position, lock everything in tight. 30 seconds, let's 
get to it. So leg out. Another thing is you get tired, you're gonna find your backside lifts a little bit as well to take some of the pressure off your core. Try and be aware of this because it'll put a little bit of stress on your back. So try and lock everything in tight. If it gets too much, just do a plank hold or you can come onto your knees like we did last week. Guys, well done. 10 seconds left. Lovely posture. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Nice job. Okay, final exercise. One left, crunches. So take a sec, plenty of time. With all the exercises, you've got time to grab a drink in between as well. So 30 seconds can seem like a very short time towards the end, but if you've got time, get some fluids on, great. Another 10 seconds. So abs in tight, you only need to come up halfway. Elbows wider means you're gonna be working harder. Completely up to you guys how you wanna do it. Your workout, your choice. Last 30 seconds, let's go. Good stuff. So breathe out as you come up. That's also gonna engage your core more. As you breathe out, it will automatically fire those abs up. Good stuff. 15 seconds, keep it going. So see how many more you can get out. Go on, 10. If you wanna make it even harder, try and hover so your shoulders don't touch down completely. Three, two, one, and relax. Good stuff. Take a second, that's it, that was the last exercise. All right guys, if you just wanna lie down, take a second. A few deep breaths, get the heart rate back down again, and from there we're gonna start with a glute stretch. So all we need to do is take one leg, place the foot onto the knee, so the leg is rotated outwards, and then the foot you've got on the floor, I want you to reach through and grab through the thigh and pull it all towards your body, good stuff. So you should feel this in the glute or the butt cheek of the leg that you're not holding onto. If you can't feel it, try and get your shin parallel with the floor. Good work. And just use your breathing as you cool down, just sink into the floor, make the stretch a little bit deeper. Good stuff. And then just relax off, same thing on the other side. So ideally we're looking for around 30, 45 seconds in this stretch. Use the time to get your heart rate down. stuff guys just think about relaxing out every muscle but predominantly we're on that glute at the moment nicely done and then from there just relax roll yourselves over so you're on your front we're just going to come into a cobra to begin so on your front and then from there you can start off on your elbows and then just come up onto your hands and we're looking to stretch the shoulder blades back and together. If you can keep the hips down, that'll increase the stretch, that's great. Now, if you struggle to do this, the best thing you can do is just come up onto the elbows and extend your back, pull the shoulder blades back together. You'll still get the stretch, but don't feel you have to come straight into this position. Try and keep your hips grounded when you do it. Guys, good work. And then just from there, let the tension go. Come back onto your knees, so just push back off your hands. And then just lunge one leg through, so one knee, one foot. Good stuff. And then from there, just push the back hip through. So you should feel this in the hip flexor. So the rear hip, you should feel this here. If you can't feel it, just try and lift your chest a little bit more and it'll increase the stretch to that area. Good work. Okay guys, from there, stay in that position and then just straighten out your front leg. Now I want you to try and fold yourself in half. So I want you to tip forwards for hamstrings. Now if you feel this in the back of your knee or your calf, I want you to bend your knee just a couple of inches and that will put the stress into the belly of the hamstring rather than the tendons on the nerves. Good. Now, keep the same knee on the floor. The other leg, I want you just to take out to 90 degrees. Good stuff. So the toes come down, and then from there, try and put your elbows on the floor if you can. So you should feel this on the inside. So Dave, if you take your toes to the floor, so facing towards me with it, that's it. Guys, good stuff. So you should feel this on the inside of your leg. Inside of the leg, we got out to the side. Pull 
that leg in and we're going to put that knee down and then take the other leg through. So same thing, hip flexor with the other leg. That's it. Perfect. And again, just lean back a couple of inches and then just push the hip forwards. Good stuff. Same thing, so we're looking to lengthen the hip flexor in that back hip. let the tension go, straighten out your front leg, and again hamstring, so just try and tip yourselves forward. So there are loads of options with this, don't feel you have to put your hands on the floor, you can put your hands on the thigh and just lean forwards to feel it. If you feel you can go more, put your hands on the floor by all means, but the key here is just releasing off the back of that leg. Nice job guys, and then from there, Take that leg straight, take it out to 90 degrees by your side. That's it. And then gradually bring yourself forward. Same thing, if you use your hands, that's absolutely fine. If you want to go further, you can come down onto your elbows. But the muscle we're stretching is the inside of the leg that you've got straight, the adductors. Good work. up onto your feet, gradually walk the foot in, and then quads, is that just one foot behind you, pull it towards your butt, if you're doing this on a mat at home, it's much harder to stand on a mat for the stretch, and then to make it harder, just push the hips forwards a couple of inches, don't worry about pulling the leg back, it's more about the tilt of the pelvis, good stuff. Switch sides, same thing on the other side. Again, try and keep the knees together if you can. Okay, last couple of stretches. Then from there, just cross one leg in front of the other. Now the leg that you got trapped behind, I want you to take that arm over the top. So I should feel this in the hip flexors, a little bit up into your side as well, and the lower back. Nicely done. A few deep breaths, and then switch sides. up and then just grab the elbow, take it back for triceps. Again, key thing with this is try not to pull down, you want to stay lifted and with the head up so you're not pulling down on your neck through trying to get more of a stretch. Good stuff guys. Ease that off and then go with the other side. done well done good stuff when the bells go off it's a, a shot of adrenaline almost it feels like it goes straight into you when you see like it's a fire in the open small it maybe relaxes you a little bit but then as soon as you see it's an rtc or it's a building fire suddenly uh, adrenaline goes even more steps up another level and it feels like your heart's going at 100 miles an hour then it definitely helps being being in the fire engine with a bunch of people that you know and that you're friends with. And it means when you look at, when you're sitting there in the, in the back of the pump and you look over and there's someone that you spend probably too much time with. Uh, and it, it does calm you down and it allows you to relax and, and it makes you think through all the training and everything you've been through. It's good to, when you come back, get off the pump, put all your kit away, go upstairs, sit on the mess deck over a cup of tea, having people that you spend a lot of time with that you're very comfortable with that you can speak about these things and and really take that take that weight off your shoulders